Inflation high, interest rate spike sales rents by 40% in major cities. That's one of the topics we'll be talking about today on the show. And also full list of Tinubu's nominees confirmed as ministers by Senate. There's also going to be off the press, where we lift from off the press, headlines that have made it to the national dailies this morning. Very good morning to you and thanks for joining us on The Breakfast. My name is Nyam Gul Akaji. Today promises to be a very, very wonderful uh, Wednesday morning. Keep your mind positive and we're going to scale through uh, today and make the best of the moments that we have. Life is not about what you had before or what you're expecting. It's about living for the moment and at this moment you're alive. There's every reason to thank God for. We move immediately to our top trending issues for this morning. Nigeria content creators are now praising Elon Musk as he announced uh, receiving a let's order, announced a payment of the content creators in Nigeria. Uh, they have claimed that they had started receiving credit alerts from the social micro blogging site owned by American businessman or Af South African businessman, I'd like to call him, Elon Musk. Uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, is now paying. Uh, content creators. Twitter Blue has been trending and some users have confirmed receiving an email from the social media uh, company notifying them that some amounts have been uh, credited to their accounts. And uh, that is because ad revenue uh, coming in. In June, Musk announced that Twitter would start to pay content creators for the advertisements displayed in uh, their uh, replies with an initial payment pool of five dollars or five million dollars. A popular ex user said that a new policy will favor content creators to get more money for the work done on uh, product adverts, and that is uh, Shola, who is one of the content creators. Wayek, um, second top trending is that Wayek withholds results of over 130,000 candidates from states owing millions. The West African Examination Council, WAIC, has uh, withheld results of students from eight states of the Federation that sat for the 2023 West African Senior School Certificate Examination, WASTS, um, over the indebtedness of the states to the Council. The head of the National Office, Mr. Patrick Aregan, disclosed this at a press briefing in Lagos on Monday, August 7. On the categories of results, he said that out of the number of candidates that sat, examination, uh, a total of uh, 1,476,565 representing 91.5% had their results fully processed and released. Mr. Arega noted that 137,168 others representing 8.5% had a few of their subjects still being processed due to some shortcomings ranging from nonchalance, liturgy, incomplete uh, upload, disobedience of uh, rubrics and others associated with the schools and candidates concerned. And while stressing that the results of candidates sponsored by states indebted to the council will not be released until they pay uh, the monies that they owe. He listed Zamfara and Niger as the highest debtors. He however refuses or refused to mention the remaining states. While Aregan also did not give the amount the states owe individually and collectively, it reportedly runs into hundreds of millions of naira. And then we'll be wondering, uh, a student goes to school, he registers or she registers for the examinations, but because the, uh, the, the states are owing, the results are withheld. This morning I also saw a story on the social media how um, a lady, a young woman, was, was just praising God 
that she made the results that she did not expect. One of the subjects that she was surprised about was um, literature. She practically, according to her, she practically wrote nothing on the sheet of paper that was given to her to answer the questions because she was coming directly from the hospital or something like that and she didn't have time to read, she didn't have time to even write because she was late for the exams and all that. Yet, she had a wonderful result and she's wondering where the result came from. She also expressed surprise that she had A1 in mathematics that she knows little or nothing about. So, well, Wayek has to look into all these issues. It's not just to withhold uh, results because of states that are owing and the students will now be thrown into jeopardy, as it were, um, look into other issues that are making things difficult for people and are making things, you know, people ask questions. Uh, for instance, we just had um, a problem with, the, with JAM, <laughs> where a, a little girl claimed that she had so much scores and it turned out that she didn't have. Till date, a lot of people do not believe that story. The way it ended, that that was it. Some people still believe that the girl may have been blackmailed into uh, just accepting that it was her fault and all that. So we still do not know a lot of things about these examination bodies. Um, more, uh, more openness should be practiced by these uh, examination bodies. Why egg? How do you mark your results? What goes into it? I've seen a situation where some people who wrote extremely well just failed. And those others that didn't even write anything, as it were, will just get flying colors. How does this work? Do you always have a glitch? Is there a problem that people need uh, to help you solve? Is this something that you need the government to do? Is it something that can be done or something, nothing can be done about it. Let's just know how it is. Already a lot of people are talking about the fact that there are too many examinations in Africa and especially in Nigeria. So if we have to have the examinations, things need to move well. Those who deserve need to pass the way they deserve and those who do not deserve need to be given a check, second chance to do so. Well. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa, and we do hope that you're having a wonderful midday. Whatever you do today, keep your mind positive. We'll take a short break, and when we return, we'll be going to the press to see what is, uh, what I'm, what is uh, making the headlines on our dailies. Stay with us.